Okay, boys, we're gonna do a little infield outfield today. Okay, and here are the positions you're to go to. Okay, Grady McComsky, I want you at first base. Austin Clement, you take second. Nick Freeman, you go to shortstop. Dan Emerson, you're gonna be on the mound today. Caden Moyer, you're gonna be backing him up behind the plate. I want Caden Larrabee, you're in left. Nate Penny, you'll be in center. I want Noah Siegel in right field. And I want Ethan Ricks, you're at third base. And backing those guys up will be Nate Burdick, Benson McComsky, and Austin Penny. You guys got it? Okay, let's have a good round out there, make good throws. Okay, on the run, let's go. Okay, yep. let's get one. Right now, boys, the field's empty, but hopefully the next time I walk out here and hit a ground ball, we're going to be all doing this together. We're still holding out hope. Say your prayers. Stay optimistic that we can get a season in. Today's the big day from the governor, okay? So keep our hopes up. I think about you guys every day. I think about baseball every day, as I'm sure you guys do. Take care of yourselves. I miss you guys. Go Rebels! Well, all right. Thank you, Mr. Excanic, for that that awesome uh, like intro to baseball. How he called out, called out the whole roster. I know. Just this morning, Coach Yats was holding out for hope that we were going to play a little bit this spring. But obviously, we all know. We just heard the governor a couple hours ago say that school is now closed. We are in a virtual learning model till. Uh, the end of the academic year, which is sometime in June. So thank you, Coach Yats. It was great to see you out there one last time. Um, all right, on with the show. Um, I don't know the last day of the school or anything, but I know that we're not returning to school this school year, and I know that spring sports are now officially canceled. Uh, it breaks my heart. It really does. It breaks If you know me... Sports are who I am. Athletics, the life lessons, the grit, the toughness, the teamwork, the camaraderie. It's, you know, that, that's who we are. So it breaks my heart today to say this. But let's do the show. All right, we got a lot to talk about today. Today is May 1st, 2020, and is the 35th day of school closure. All right, I'm Chris Capaletti. I'm the athletic director, athletic director, PD guy, tech guy for Cuba Rushford. And you can reach me on my Twitter, on my email, on my text. You can call me, yell to me, but let's social distance now. All right, so we just I just said it. School is closed through June. We are virtual learning right through this. So this show is going to continue Monday through Friday right into June. So what's another two months? Here we go. All right, the uh, some other things that just came out this week. August uh, August regences are canceled. That means if you were going to retake a regents in August, those are now canceled. Uh, there is no decision about what summer school or summer soccer or summer workouts. Any we don't know anything that's starting in July. All I know is all sports are now canceled through June. So we'll see. All right, Mr. Jordan is back. With this animal, there's a high point. What is this little guy? Oh, little guy. So we'll give that answer right at the end of the show. All right, today is May 1st. All common applications are due to Mrs. Deck via email today. Very, very important. All right, let's not forget about uh, Wi-Fi updates. Boop. And so we got elementary, middle high school, Cuba Library, McDonald, Elegant Hills Golf Course, most businesses in Cuba, Rushford Fire Hall, Rushford Library, Farmersville Fire Department. Um, you know, a lot of hot spots out there. Let's get out there. This remote learning is not going away. Grades are counting, so let's get out there. All right, and don't forget, Tech Taco Tuesday will be next Tuesday at from 11 to 1 p.m. at Lunch Handouts in Rushford and the Lunch Handout in uh, at the Cuba Rushford Elementary. Be sure that there will be a tech there. So if you're having trouble with your iPad, go. Because if you can make it, there's a tech right there. And we're having tacos. And it's Cinco de Mayo. I love it. 
Speaking of lunch handouts, here's a little a video that I'm just going to talk over. You see, there's a lot of construction at the Cuba Rushford Elementary right now. They're working on those sidewalks out front of the school where the lunch handout is. So please be very, very careful around all that construction. Very important. All right, tweet of the day. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you, Chris Brook. Our profile this Thursday, yesterday, comes from the White House. Along with being a cross-country runner and tennis player, the Rebels volleyball player played a huge role in the team's county title winning season. That's right, boys volleyball won the county's last uh, winter season. And this is Joey Frederick. So you want to find out a little bit more about Joey? Check that out. And thank you, Miss Flint. When a student zooms in the in for the learning center and we crank out three assignments. Yes! I love it. And thank you, CRCS Hakuna Matata. Be Awesome Day was yesterday with Miss May and her brother was in the garage working. Love it. And today's Friday, so thank you, Jenny Mosier, for the Junior Rebel Express show. Um, please check that out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for all your elementary news. And thank you, Miss Mason. Yes, it's Friday. Miss Mason is awesome. Check her out on Twitter at Miss Mason underscore PE1. Today's challenge, the plank to diamond push-up. Will you start in a plank position, high plank position, diamond push-up? How many can you do? Awesome. So check out Miss Mason on Twitter. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm having and thank you, Kathy Dudley. Today's May Day. It's May 1st. Uh, may you be healthy, may you be happy. Look at those lovely flowers. Thank you, Miss Dudley, for putting that out. All right, and today's precept brought to you by Mr. Beck. Always keep your dream alive. Dreaming is still how the strong survive. Absolutely. Dream, dream, dream. And thank you, Mrs. Deck. Happy National Principals Day. <laughs> and Miss Ralston, the, uh, our great principals. Great leaders don't set, set out to be a leader. They set out to make a difference. Absolutely. All right. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. My throat's a little dry. And thank you, Ms. Ralston. Governor Cuomo announced that schools will remain closed and functioning with distance learning models through the end of the school year. Summer school plans will be announced at the end of May, and you can be sure, people, it will be the last end of May. Okay. And... You know, the smiley emo the, the crying emoji from uh, the New York State Athletic Association. Not much else to say. Just super, super bummed today. Super bummed today. And the high school schedule. I put it up every day in the middle school schedule. So if you ever want to go back, you can pause this video and check out those. All right, don't forget about lunch every day, 11 to 1. The COVID hotline, the Allegheny County Crisis Hotline. The Cattaraugus County Hotline and the Office of Mental Health, those numbers are here for you every single day. Every Monday from 11 to 1, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., homework is dropped off. And that same time, lunches and lunch breakfast is dropped off at a lot of homes. And then on Friday from 11 to 1, homework is picked up. Um, so remember, if you have your homework dropped off at your house by the school or the homework is picked up or your lunch is getting dropped off, uh, every day. Remember, try to keep your dogs, you know, locked up during that time so the drivers aren't at risk. So it, I'm going to ask you, take your pets and just tuck them away if you're getting a, a homework drop off or a homework pickup. Remember, so I say this so lovingly, um, tuck those dogs away when packages are getting delivered because we don't want anyone to get bit. Thanks from one dog person to another. Um, let's protect our little furry babies because goodness no, little baby Daisy, little baby Daisy, yo, oh, little baby Daisy needs protected too. And go Yankees. I'm not sure what Major League Baseball is gonna do, um, but we'll see. Math game of the day, www.coolmathgames.com. And today's math game is a chef slash. Ooh. All right. So, animals. Okay. What's that animal at the beginning? What's this animal? A lot of you probably guessed it. That's a hedgehog. Very good. And 
I hope you enjoyed the intro from Mr. Uh, Iskanik. Um, we went out this morning. Part of the reason we wanted to wait for Governor Cuomo to come out, but we also went out to Cuba this morning, and he, uh, Mr. Iskanik and I, Coach Iskanik, we went out and did a little video for you. I hope you enjoyed that at the beginning of the show. Um, so I know it was a really sad day. He was, as of this morning at nine o'clock, Coach Yats was still holding out hope that you guys would be back. So, darn it. It's a tough way. That's a tough way to end the season. But anyways, happy Friday. It is Friday. There are so many things to look forward to. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny weekend. Get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Movement will help. All right? Exercise, physical exercise helps your mood. Get out there and move a little bit. It'll help. All right. So we'll see you next time right here on the Rebel Express Show. Okay, so we're gonna do infield, outfield. Okay, on the run, let's go.